Today we're here with Mr. Milton McLean. Are you a wildlife ranger? Retired. Retired wildlife ranger. And we're out here fishing on Lake Waffamall for uh, bluegill and shellcracker. Bluegill and shellcracker. What's your uh, favorite thing to fish for? Uh, Lake Waffamall is shell, it's be the shellcracker. Mm -hmm. Shellcracker and then the grass perch and pumpkin seed. Mm -hmm. And then the bluegill, flatfish, the panfish in Lake Waffamall. What's yeah. the biggest thing you've ever caught out of Lake Waffle? Uh, the big, largest shellcracker, the biggest flatfish we've ever mm -hmm. caught, uh, would be uh, a shellcracker. I had one with two pounds, four ounces. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's been several years ago. This year I've only caught one that went uh, over two pounds. Mm -hmm. I caught a bunch of pounds and half or three quarters. Mm -hmm. This year the crappy fish in Lake Waffle was the best, one of the best seasons we've had in years. I mean, a lot of them. Several two, two and a half pound crappy caught out of Lake Waffle. Mm -hmm. It's really. Lake, the lake in the last three years has been the best fishing I've known since 1970. I've been here fishing since 1970. It's the best fishing I've ever known. What do you fish with? Well, for the crap, they use minnows, and usually I try to catch lake minnows mm -hmm. just by seeing them or even setting minnow traps down. And uh, with, the, with the shell cracker and the bluegill and, uh, and, uh, and the pumpkin seed or grass perch, usually use either worms or crickets. Most of mm -hmm. the worms, but crickets sometimes. Mm -hmm. Do they work every time? Uh, most time worms do. Mm -hmm. It's hard, hard to beat a worm. You catch <laughs> catfish, bass, anything, anything in Lake Waltham where we'll bite a worm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, fish stories? Mm, I guess one of the best ones I got my care of my grandson, four year old, mm -hmm. day before yesterday, he caught a pound, a pound and a half shell cracker. Mm -hmm. the second cast and after he caught, he caught that one three or four of them, he said, I'm ready to go home and cook fish, granddaddy. <laughs> I'm going to take it back to the dock. How you started? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 